Hello, my name's Tom, and in this video, what I wanted to do is just give a quick walkthrough of my new free Witch Pig plugin, Bangkok Ping Pong. So, as you've probably guessed, it's basically a ping pong delay. So, it's a delay where the repeats go, say, alternately right, left, right, etc. But what is also built on it is a kind of um, wah wah plugin as well. So, it's Bit more like like an auto wah wah, but it only applies that to the repeats of the delays. So you won't hear it going like wah 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 like if you put your foot up and down on a wah wah guitar pedal. But what it will do is it will vary um, the tone of the repeats, just which just makes it a lot more interesting. So when I did it to start with, just as a plain delay wasn't particularly interesting it was just dull it just went donk 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 side to side but it made a big difference changing the tone of the repeats so with a wah wah pedal what you're basically doing is you're putting in a notch filter so you're boosting certain frequencies I mean you're moving them across the spectrum to create that sound so what it's doing on the repeats is with these bits so you, you use the LFO and the frequency so the LFO is basically the actual width of the notch of the filter and then the frequency is how quickly it moves from side to side the other bits i've just largely hard coded which you might want to control because you didn't really need them so much so if you have a wide range here and it's going slowly then it's pretty much going to be applying the same filter across all of them because it won't have bounced about enough um, but if you do like a very narrow filter when it and then it does it free and then you have a high frequency and it's only going to apply the filters when it actually um, when the delay hits at the same time as the filters moving across. So depending on what you're playing and the speed of the track, you're going to want to adjust those two controls to apply how you want the filters. But I say generally just leave them around this. If you're doing quite a lot of notes, then this will just give you a nice tonal variation on the delays without making it sound really obvious um, so the other controls on here you've got a balance so if it's on one that means it starts hard right and then goes hard right left right if it's on zero or 0 0.1 0 0.1 actually then it starts hard left goes left right left and if you have it on 0 0.5 that will be in the middle so you're basically just getting a standard delay then without the ping pong um, the delay, you can set it in variation to seconds to start with, but um, what it will also do is it will pick up the BPM of your track and then if you click on sync here, it'll go red and then you'll notice it's changed it from a time to a quarter. So it'll be like change it to quarter, half note, 18th, 16th, um, and you click it back and it'll change it back to the nearest second. So it'll move it from whatever second you've got up to the nearest um, div division, time division. So if you have a very short delay, like 0.1 or 0.15, that's basically going to be like a slap back delay. So on one setting, I've just got like a uh, like a slap back delay. So then you just have the balance on 0.5 and the delay on very short. But then this will go up to two seconds to give a lot more long, obviously a lot longer delay. Um, right, other controls on here. You've also got, obviously got some presets built in, which will change it. Um, you can move that way or you can do it this way, whichever way you want. Um, if you click on which pig here, the logo here, then what this does is it opens up um, whichpig.co.uk, opens up the website here. It's got quite a lot of videos on it, so it takes a bit of time to load up. So I've got a whole load of um, VST, they're all free, VST plugins, contact instruments, also some light presets and stuff as well. Um, but you'll see on that um, if you need any help installing it if you have any issues installing it, it tends to be mainly problems people get with um uh with mac seem to be a bit of a problem because you need to pay them to authorize the plugins to do it and i don't want to have to do that i don't want to give them loads of money just to give stuff away for free but you can there's instructions in the help section on how to get around that so it's not really an issue as long as you actually read them yep so um going across there and then you've got sync and then you've also got um youtube link this will just open up um on my youtube channel my own youtube channel i've just got a preset list of all the different giving demos of the different witch pig plugins and context instruments and stuff so you can see there's built up quite a lot of them now 
Um, bypass, if you click on bypass, it would obviously bypass it. It will go red and you'll st the animation will stop. So you can see it's in bypass. Then you've got version number. And if you click on the question mark here, if you can't remember any of this, this just tells you, gives you like a quick um, help file as well, just to get you, get you up and running. So um, that's pretty much it on the walkthrough of showing what it's done. I have done a, I've already done a presets video where I show five different presets all with guitar. So I thought I'd just do like a quick one um, just on keyboards, just for something different. So I thought a good one to use would be um, one of the um, contact instruments I did before is this one here. Ambient Axe. So what this is, it's sampled from my seven string guitar going into an Axe Effects 2. And it's got the different effects on there. But what it does, but I suppose when it finishes the note, it finishes quite abruptly. I haven't got like tails added on. It's just got the straight guitar. So it's just like if you put your finger off the guitar and finished, which can sound a bit abrupt. And yet it kind of makes the guitar sound like a keyboard because it's been sampled. So I think some people thought, well, yeah, you want to have an end on it. So and I didn't do add anything else on because I thought, well, if people want that, they can do it themselves. They can always just use the contact reverbs or delays or add it in. But it does sound a bit abrupt sometimes, and that's a sound in itself. But I thought I'd give an example with this showing um, how you could use something like the delay ping pong to actually make it a lot smoother and make it, and make it so you don't get that sudden cut off with no tails. So what I'll do to start with with this one is I'll put it on to I'm going to give it a one second delay. No, do that one. I want to go to big and bouncy one so you can see it's sort of one second delay, fairly average LFO and frequency mixed up 0 0.6 on that one, starting off on the right. So but what I'm going to do to start with is I'm just going to bypass it and then I'll play a bit of just a few notes, chords. So this is done with a guitar, it's sampled from a guitar, but it sounds like sort of a cheap keyboard, really. But then when I put the, you'll hear when I put the bang pop ping pong on, it sounds a lot more interesting. So this is it just for playing guitar from a contact instrument. OK, so now I'm going to put it on, take the bypass off. You can see it's going because it's going there. And then you can see what difference it makes. Yeah, I think that does actually make it sound a lot better, to be fair. So, OK, I'm going to just before we go out and leave, I'm just going to do another quick one on here. So. On this one, I'm using the same one, I'm using a different sound from the um, ambient axe. And I'll play it first. I'll do the same thing where I just play it plain to start with. On this one, I'm using a two second delay. I'm using the wild and wobbly preset. I'll put it onto bypass play you the beginning bit without it and then I'll add, and then I'll turn off the bypass on and play it again so you hear it. So I'll probably play out with this now. So I'll put up some other links to um, some of my other videos if you want to watch them just as it's playing out. Um, if you want to download more, try out some of my free plugins and presets, go to witchpig.co.uk. I've also got a playlist on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so I'll just play this plane and then I'll and then I'll play it with uh, um, bang pop ping pong on it. <laughs> okay, and now with the bang pop ping pong at a two second delay going left to right. Mm -hmm. 